So this is part two in the four part of the Take The Stage series with Lynx Music celebrating up and coming artists. So this week we're styling Koji Radical for his performance on our Lynx Music Showcase. We are taking him to the biggest costume warehouse in the world. In this warehouse they have everything bro, from medieval armor to Sean John tracksuits. Catch us getting lost. Where do we start? Going completely insane. Oh, I just don't even know to be honest with you. And operating a big stick. We'll come back to that. Lynx music is about the power that music creates to bring people together. So the first three episodes of this four-part series will be styling challenges and the final part will take place at a big event. Which will see three artists representing three different genres perform in front of a huge crowd. So last week we gave away 20 pairs of tickets. This week stay to find out how you can buy some for yourself. They'll cost five pounds. All the proceeds will go to a charity or ditch the label who we've worked with before. PAQ presents Very OG. Radical. Yeah, I can't lie. So I feel like you should give up the seat for the guests. <laughs> I feel like you should stop being so selfish. <laughs> where where do you want to sit? Do you want to sit on this sofa you or do you want to sit in this lovely arm. armchair? Or you can sit right in the middle, in between these lovely two support I'm systems. I'm not going to hold you. I'm going to take this seat. <laughs> there we go. That's it. Come on, come you. on. Welcome back to PAQ, the best fashion show on the internet, dropping videos every single Thursday onto your screens. Welcome, Koji. Hello, Hello. how are you doing? Hello, nice to sir. see you. What you are here for is we are styling you. At the end, you choose one outfit and you'll be performing on stage in said outfit. But where are we taking you, I hear you ask? So we are taking you to Angels. It is the, the world's biggest costume store, but it's not just like fancy dress costumes. It is everything from medieval armor to Sean John tracksuits. Most Hollywood films and that, they all pull their clothes from angels. So okay. Should be pretty sick. All right. Is there anything we should avoid? I don't like shiny stuff. I don't want to be dressed like a disco ball. <laughs> Very easy to do in a costume place. True. You gotta be able to move. You got to feel good. If you don't feel good, it's hard to perform. But it has to be an outfit at the end of the day. I've got a very high bar. I'm ready. How you feeling? Good. Yeah? Yeah. Hello. So, yeah. yeah. Sensing some nerves from my, from my old boy Dex <laughs> over there, but it's fine. Off we go. Styling Koji Radical. Hello, Koji. Well, go on. How you doing? I'm all right, you know? Right. <laughs> so whoever wins this challenge, their outfit will be used by Koji for the PAQ Lynx Showcase. He is an alternative hip-hop artist. He directs some music videos. He's a sick lyricist, very raw, very much a performer. And he's really good at dancing. And yeah, it's one of our mates. Cool. It's hard to like pinpoint what his style is. I know he likes a lot of utility. Yeah, I like yeah, utility yeah, yeah. stuff. I know he loves his berets. Nothing from breaking to electric boogaloo. I'm not a huge fan of superhero costumes. I haven't actually worked out what he likes. Koji loves to, to move and groove while he's on stage. So we definitely need to put him in something that is not going to be limiting. You still want to get enough air to your body. You still want to be cool. You have to take all these things into consideration. Just loincloth. Let's just loincloth it <laughs> So we're outside Angel's Costumes. This is the world's biggest supplier of clothing for films and TV. They have over a million items of clothing that if they were stretched out would equate to 10 miles. So it's not like three rolls like one, two, three, no. It's like three rolls high, rolls back up, back up, back. It's like Tetris, bruv. It gets deep, bro. We're gonna need sticks, we're gonna need ladders. You might see people walking around that look lost. They've been here for years. No one ever found them. So it's gonna be a magic, man. A million pieces, crazy. I can tell already you're overwhelmed. I am, bro. I'm thinking what the hell is... What's like... going on? I know. I'm well excited, yeah. I can't wait to actually get in there. It should be quite a good laugh. Alternatively, it could be absolute hell when you don't know what to choose and there's already more options you could ever think about. let us go. <laughs> okay, I just need that one hip stretch and that's it. Where do we start? 
<laughs> it's like a labyrinth. <laughs> it is. Maybe in the menswear section. It's mad and it's annoying because we had an hour. And quite a lot of the stuff is very high up, so a bit cozy sadical. Yo, this is mad. It was like Narnia, man. I just went through a door and then it's just this other world with so many clothes. Do you have an ever in mind? That is a flipping good question. This looks like the most boring aisle I've seen in my life. Look, a sea of black and grey panatones. Horrific. And I knew instantly there was so much stuff. That was probably going to be a big problem when it came to finding something because the options were going to be ridiculous. So everyone went downstairs straight away from what I heard, but I decided to stay upstairs because I know the military stuff was up there. Maybe we do but some utility stuff. Yeah. Because when I walked in, I did see some army jackets and stuff. Yeah, no one's that. touched that. Me and Koji kind of vibed with the, with the military stuff. Bruv, I don't know what that is. What is Is that trousers? Place? No, it's not trousers. I think it is trousers. Is no, it's not trousers. trousers? you got to zip it somewhere. I have a feeling you've had nightmares like this. Genuinely. Then I found a hip hop rail. They had all these brands, you know, OG brands that I absolutely love. And I was like, okay, cool. There's definitely going to be something here that we can, we can pull. Is that, is that a two piece? If that's a two piece, you've, that's definitely you've a won. Two piece. That's definitely a two piece. You've bro. won already. There is a section yeah. over here you might like. He might as well style me, he knows what he's doing. He's been here a long time. I've been looking for some vests, some utility vests. Found a couple, you know, found this cool green one, found this grey one, I thought that was okay. I've seen you wear these something like this in your videos as well. Yeah, yeah, some yeah, definitely. It's nice when there's like an element that's like kind of utilitarian and then like stuff that's like almost tailored. Like I find in a blend of both. And there's these trousers that we found. Those are trousers, isn't it? I like them trousers. They're kind of sick. Mm. And I saw a look in his face. They're wavy. Koji Gladical. There was a 90s section. Oh, wait, hold on. I just found this Wu wear jacket, man. The Wu? I never actually saw that before. This is cold. There was just some sick stuff, and I was like, OK, this is hard. But I found this amazing blue baggy shirt. That That's shirt is fire, though. Got the fat Albert Fubu here. What you know, baby? What you know? We found these, like, all these cream trousers that looked fire. Like, it literally reminded of sort of like the, the Louis Vuitton kind of kind of vibe. I'm gonna try these. They're yeah. like old English yeah. fatty riders. Ye old Shaniqua. Ye old Shaniques. How long, how long have you been, are they feeding you down here? I feel like it's easy to get lost down here. <laughs> Do you know what, there's so much clothes, I'm so actually much. flipping overwhelmed, man. It gets like that, bro. I need some color. Like, I don't like all this gray and dark and blue. I'm sorry. Trying to find trousers was a Nightmare. I told myself I wasn't going to do this to you because I was going to. I love the 70s. It's all a. Tr it's all a trap. I gravitate too much towards this era. I'm too comfortable. In the let's 70s. Move. Yeah. Let's move. So we're kind of using like old music as our reference. The Monkees, the Beatles, Jimi Hendrix. That kind of gear. Where it's Sherman, but it's not like costume. It's not fancy dress. Whoa. It's a poncho, so you don't need to set a jacket off. Yes, speaking languages, I enjoy. That's like a mix of like a parka and a poncho. That is sick. It's hard. I found three suits, but there was one in particular. These could be options. I do. I'm I'm digging the pinks. That, yeah. jacket, that jacket's kind of cold. Which one? This one. We'll call that too. Whilst you're searching for more things, I'll try some bits on. These are quite cool. These are like two-tone. They kind of were flares, but they weren't flares. They just kind of had a little kick to them, but they were like a really nice blue and a really nice material. Two twos, find him a Wu Wear jacket. So we're just rolling around in Wu jackets, man. That is that is a hard Wu Wear jacket. This is what I like to call wooing the ladies. We've been here before. We have been here before. We have. This, we've we've officially started going around in circles. These would have been great until the buttons flew off quite aggressively. Um, I swear. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I just don't even know, to be honest with you. I feel like I've just got a brain, a flipping brain fart. I'm getting more and more scared every time you turn that corner. <laughs> oh, that looks sick. How do you feel in it? I like this vest. Turned around like there's going to be a mirror behind me, but you are my mirror and your <laughs> approval says everything I need to know. Smooth. I don't know what it is, but I'm calling the red. Where are the shoes? <laughs> so I even got to get my shoes from here as well? Yes, so what size crep are you? I'm a 10. They're not in sizes? Oh, you're lying. I'm just absolutely spaffled. Are the shoes are going to be the hardest part. Oh, these are the shoes. Yeah. This is the worst section I've seen in my life. 
While I'm looking at these shoes yeah, for you to try on, put the trousers on, could you please put the trousers and the shirt on? Thank and the shirt. So, thank you so much. That's my favorite client ever. <laughs> what have we got here? There's tons of clown shoes, which obviously suits Elias down to the ground. Wait, Jake, these are yours, aren't they? Ah! <laughs> then he had a field day when he saw these. Oh my God. I they like actually I'm... go with an outfit. That's like lads in hall when you wear skinny jeans and the are <laughs> <laughs> This is fresh as wheat. <laughs> Seeing as this is your house. Yes, where would you like to go, sir? Trousers, please. I found some options for me for some trousers. Would you wear jeans? I would wear jeans. They take me back to a scary time in my life where my mum decided my outfit's fun. You don't have, you don't have PTSD from own <laughs> clothes day. Whoa, what, around, what, what's the around. connecting piece that we're looking for right now, mate? What are we missing in your world? We're missing everything. Bro, there is no option. I don't know, I might just let him get his toes out instead. Let's go to accessories. Boxing shoes could be a vibe. Boxing shoes can look incredible. It's very like Freddie Mercury kind of vibes. Yeah, kind of vibes, but the brown one's actually really sick. Scarves and hats, yeah. right, let's have you. So we go to the footwear section. We have some Roman sandals, some monk sandals, some men's medieval sandals, white wellies, just in case, green wellies, green wellies, black wellies. Me and Koji walked around and tried to find some shoes, bro. Ugh, smells like Foot. feet. Yeah. Ugh. I'm trying to find some good hats. Every section you go to is just too overwhelming. Nope, nope, nope. Get in, loser, we're going shopping. Scoot! I want that on. <laughs> I knew that was coming. Do you wear docks? I wear docks. You look like a docks man. There were some promising selections, the only thing is they did not fit him. Oh, they were a size eight! eight. That was not meant to happen. <laughs> I found some interesting shoes that I never thought I'd ever see. Actually, I'm not gonna lie. Still quite moony. Yeah, and he's actually quite bouncy still. Jeez. <laughs> Caps. Oh, this looks like a better option. Oh, so sweet, man. I've never seen you in a hat like that before. I've never seen it either. Oh, I heard you're a comic book fan. Yeah, that stuff. I do like comic books. Oh, mad. Please tell me. Spider-Man babes. They were beat, but that's because they've been worn, and I respect that. I'm not feeling that confident, nor am I feeling that unconfident. I'm just kind of in the middle right now. Got some trousers, we've got a vest. It's looking decent, man. I don't mind, man. We had fun. Glad to be out of there. Regain my head a little bit because it is literally like a labyrinth of old clothes. Yeah. I trust you. You crack on. Thank you. I'm going elsewhere. See you in a bit. See you in a bit. Ooh. <laughs> Lynx Music has invited you into my world, my quiet little corner, to tell you about five songs that I feel like epitomize love and attraction. Lynx Music, love sounds. Let me show you my five tracks. The Queen herself, Miss Jill Scott, by popular demand. Kind of shows you the power and the, the beauty in a raw vocal. Omar, there's nothing like this. It feels like wearing a silk robe by like a fireplace. This is Sam Cooke, Mr. Soul. And it's a song called Smoke Rings. I don't even feel like it's a song particularly about love, but I feel like it is a song that can help you fall in love. It's Daft Punk, Something About Us. Now, if you've heard this record, you know that is one of the ultimate love songs in the world. Last record isn't actually here in vinyl form. Collard is a newer artist. This record is about nursing someone back to health. Well, that was fun. But unfortunately, that is the end of my list. This has been Love Sounds. You need to go into the description, click the link, and make sure you check out the full video. Let's get back to the regularly scheduled programming. Bye-bye. <laughs>
Yo, Beanhead. I'm playing. Elias. <laughs> that is sick. Oh, yo, this is hard. I thought, you know what? Let me switch it up entirely. Something that's really bright and that shows a different side of Koji, you know what I'm saying? Okay. And I found a section and that was all like hip hop. And I was like, okay. Open shirt, look like a boss. Absolutely fire. I can't lie, I was really into it. It was good. First thing I thought was Perucci Blues. Jeez. No, yeah. You generally look like that whole like New York, uptown Harlem. One of them cool guys in the movie, just real smooth, like rolls up, but kind of, he's kind of bossy at the same time. Hey yo, what you want me to do? Go on third half. <laughs> Koji did feel comfortable and confident in it. Yo, go inside, give me some milk. Out of all the outfits, that is definitely one of the most stage ready ones because the trousers look a bit spacious. Uh, uh, <laughs> There's wiggle room. <laughs> if the nuts can't swang, Koji can't sang. Scared to laugh too hard in case I pop this. He wasn't really feeling the, the tightness of the choker. Thick neck problem. Bruh, yeah, bro, I hear it. I can't rock a choker, bro. You just see like a chain and then chin. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine you're just performing and your jaw just burst into the audience. The only thing is the trial's like, maybe could be being like an inch longer. I love the whole look. And the, the fat Albert shirt as well, though. <laughs> yeah, that's so nostalgic. Strong colour blocking. Overall, I think the colour scheme went well together. How do I feel? <laughs> hey! Dex. Let's do it. Let's go. you have to have a crazy stage presence. So you have to have like a concept. So I thought it'd be sick for him to wear the color pink, especially as a black man. I feel like that is strong. I was like, raw, this is hard. Like, it was styled incredibly. Dexter, I personally think, had the best outfit. Because you got like a dark complexion, it makes the pink pop so much. Koji's skin complexion looked amazing with that. This looks hard. Like you need to deep the levels, bro. 15 out of 10. All the lights are flashing, everyone's screaming. As soon as you start moving around, you'd be like, I'm sweaty. He was probably going to be a bit hot. In that outfit, you're definitely going to get that young drip, that salty drip. <laughs> I think you've absolutely smashed it. One of my favourite fits you've ever done. The one glove I thought that was a nice little bit of garnish on the top. I was watching you long in his Surprise, he's got the balaclava to match the suit. The Pantone of that like, was just correct. Can I just see what it looks like without the battle car, but maybe yeah. just a hat? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> You're like a finger. <laughs> Stop oh, from spikers. We're gonna move on now. Of course. Fan for talk, I can't fall in love with you. If you think about who the most iconic dressed musicians are, you've got people like you've got Bowie, Freddie Mercury. And Jimi Hendrix as well was like a heavy inspiration for this look. He took a reference and he was like, this is what I want. And he did create that. I think this is mint. I'm so in love with it. I rate this. Well, someone has to. Oh, what Danny's on his <laughs> So, Zippo Circus in town? Hey. Straight in. I was bare thinking, where's the lions and tigers? You done. What threw me off was the lower half, really. So the trousers and the boxing shoes. And I'm start from the bottom, yeah? Because that's where those shoes remind me of. Nothing but ass. I think maybe, obviously, the boxing shoes are a bit leave it, but... But they're kind of not. No, they kind of are. I personally kind of like the boxing crepes with this fit. Boxing shoes are really, really sick. 
There was elements I liked, but I don't think it all went together. I'm trying to see how the trousers kind of go with it. It just looked too busy. A good outfit, but for the wrong person. I don't think he actually thought who his client was. Koji Radical. Boom! Big up, Danny. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Boom! Big up, Danny. <laughs> Shuck! <laughs> <laughs> hey, where my broken arrows at? Bowser. Hold up! Hold up! Hold up! My squad about to roll up. Hold up! Hold up! My squad about to roll up. Broken arrows! Get them bows up! Get them bows up! Get them bows up! Get them bows up! Get them bows up, hold up, get them bows up, all the way up, get them bows up, all the way up. Shock you. Oh, he's there. At ease. You guys uh, did all the stuff of taking Koji out of his comfort zone. I did the complete opposite. Something that I know Koji would wear, but I feel like it could have been a bit more interesting. It was a very Koji fit. The audience is going to recognise him, he's going to be true to him, and they feel comfortable. Yeah, there's bits of it that I've worn in like other outfits. And in terms of like it being functional, there's air everywhere. I know Shaq cared a lot about Koji having good crotch movement and aeration. How is the crotch situation? You can have a whole shindig down, you can have a bar yeah. mitzvah, you can have everything. Uh, there's room for a party. Whole gathering, bro. 100%. Family reunion. Nah, that's a bit wrong. <laughs> Distant cousins? F it now. For me, it just wasn't really too much of a, a standout edge. I feel like you could have done something to make it a bit more out there. Thank you, Dexter. Is. Uh, yeah, wait, what was that about? I know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Is this a bad outfit? No. Is this an amazing outfit? No. Is this a Koji outfit? Yes. That's, that's offensive. I want to see how you're going to save yourself. I'm not going to lie. It's, it's, it's facts. It's, 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 it's facts. He's picking a grave. But you've, it's, 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 it's essential and it's probably good that you have at least one of us that are keeping you in your comfort zone. It's not amazing, but it's Koji. We're just gonna have to stop ending on that one, bro. Yeah. It was a nice start, but I think military's been done a lot. It's been overplayed quite a bit. But not as can spend literally like 20 years perfecting his craft, and at the end of that 20 years, his final piece could just be a line. It's the timeline from the beginning of his journey to the end. Because this right here is my line, yeah? Okay. The best is the line. <laughs> and that's where I draw it. <laughs> Do you want some syrup? Because you've been waffling. Oh! Definitely a nice piece, but I feel like a bit more fashion maybe. But it's a costume store. If you want military stuff, but you want a fashion twist on it, you're not going to get that. Thank you, Shaq. Thank you, lads. Um, enjoyed it greatly. Got a lot of thinking to do. But when I return, I will have an answer for you. And until then, stay pretty. Hello, everyone. So excited um, to hear Danny what? No, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> now, honestly, I just want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart. Um, even if you did suck. <laughs> Why are you turning on me? <laughs> <laughs> it is time. In fact, I'm going to eliminate people one by one. Oh, this is Love Island. First person going home will be... Shaq. It just wasn't that, that Shaq that we love. I wanted him to go home first. <laughs> Danny, you're going home next, <laughs> all right? <laughs> <laughs> now. The moment of truth, it has come down. It has come down to these, these two geniuses. But what does that mean? What does that mean? What does it mean? You wouldn't know you went home first. <laughs> okay. I've watched this show. I've watched this show. I know Shaq was waiting for this. <laughs> they needed a guest that come in and stuck it on Shaq because he's he gets everyone every week. But I do love you, Shaq. You are actually one of my favourites. If there was action figures, I would burn yours. <laughs> 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 Boom! Without further ado, I would like to reveal the winner 
The winner is... Drum roll, please. Elf. <laughs> Come in. Boom. So we're now releasing exclusive tickets to our Lynx Music event. So there'll be a PAQ exclusive code that will come up on the screen that you guys need to enter into the DICE website to buy your tickets, five pounds. Make sure you're 16 plus and have your ID when you roll up. I'll see you guys there.